Because the dog was too noisy, its owner had its vocal cords surgically removed. <laughs> However, even after the operation, whenever there were people around, the dog would still make hoarse, gasping sounds. This incident caused the female owner to receive many odd looks from others. As more and more people entered the elevator, the dog's reactions became increasingly intense. Even when the female owner turned her back, the dog would tilt its head and bark wildly, and the neighbors were no strangers to this situation. According to the female owner, before the dog had its vocal cords removed, the family received complaints from neighbors almost daily due to the dog's high decibel noise around the clock. They had no choice but to perform the surgery. While the dog's barking diminished, it began to show aggressive behavior. The dog not only attacked the male owner, but also guests who came to their home. One moment, the dog was being affectionate with a guest, and the next moment, it would bite. In addition to the dog named Mango, there was another problematic dog in the household named Ringo. Whenever the owners left the house, Ringo would always bite Mango's tail. Mango's once fluffy tail had been bitten bald by Ringo. Ringo frequently bullied Mango for no apparent reason, chasing and biting Mango relentlessly. The owners were puzzled as to why Ringo behaved this way. When they took the dogs out for a walk, the barking turned into a duet. Mango would bark furiously at passing innocent golden retrievers, while Ringo joined in, barking at Mango. Created quite a chaotic scene. Before the dog training began, the male apprentice came to assess the situation. As soon as he reached the entrance, he was intimidated by the dog's demeanor. Mango rushed at his feet and began biting, leaving him with nowhere to step. The owners immediately immediately grabbed Mango and put a muzzle on it. Just as they released Mango, Ringo rushed over, ignoring commands and biting at Mango. At the man's request, the owners picked up Ringo, while Mango appeared very anxious, pacing around the room. As the man was about to leave, the dogs became agitated again and lunged at him. Perhaps it was the entrance that caused the issue? The man suggested the owners leave and put the dogs in the entryway. Surprisingly, the dog's aggression disappeared, and it was even able to shake hands amicably with the man. However, the moment the man stood up, Mango reverted to its original behavior. With a preliminary understanding in place, the dog trainer began his work. He put Mango in the entryway and engaged in idle conversation with the owners, completely ignoring Mango. Not used to the situation, Mango became extremely nervous, even urinating on the spot and later losing control of its bowels. Once inside the house, the trainer purposely blocked Mango from getting close to the owners to observe how it would react without their help. In theory, a normal dog would lie nearby and watch its owner. However, the frightened Mango chose to turn its back on the owners. Witnessing this, the trainer felt saddened, as Mango seemed fierce but was actually quite timid and overly sensitive to unfamiliar people and actions, which led to its uncontrollable barking. Ringo's behavior was an attempt to restrain Mango. Whenever the owners failed to correct Mango's misbehavior, Ringo would step in to fulfill that role. Indeed, the moment the female owner set Ringo down, Ringo charged towards the noisy Mango. The trainer positioned himself between them and pushed Ringo away. The male owner was displeased and warned the trainer not to use force in training. The trainer retorted, asking if simply showering the dog with affection would fix the problem. The male owner awkwardly patted the dog, prompting the trainer to immediately stop him. The trainer explained that this action was not correcting Mango's mistakes but rather enabling its poor behavior. This behavior did not qualify him as a responsible owner. Regarding training methods, if a dog is hit without reason, that's considered abuse, but if the dog puts others in danger, it's self-defense. If the owner only feels pity but doesn't intervene, they might be better off living in the mountains, where only they would get bitten, without needing to address the dog's issues. Clearly, Ringo had been shouldering the responsibilities of the owner in this household. It understood that Mango's behavior was wrong and attempted to intervene repeatedly, only to be scolded for its efforts. If Ringo Ringo were human, it would likely choose to run away from home. At this point, Ringo was still using its body to block Mango, desperately trying to prevent Mango from making further mistakes. Ringo's well-intentioned efforts finally made the male owner realize his own negligence. Moving forward, whenever Ringo wanted to discipline Mango, the owners needed to separate them to convey that this was the responsibility of the dog's owner. The trainer then moved the ladder from next to the sofa, pushing the dogs off the sofa whenever they tried to jump on it. This was to establish a sense 
sense of hierarchy. If the dogs could freely jump on the sofa, they would perceive themselves as equals to the owners. Therefore, dogs should be denied access to the sofa without the owner's permission. After repeated training, the dogs clearly became much more obedient. The trainer then invited two female guests to assist with the training and moved the dog bed to the living room. If the dog displayed aggressive behavior towards guests, it was commanded to return to its bed. Once the dog complied and entered its bed, it was timely rewarded with treats. After training, when the female guests entered again, the dog automatically returned to its bed, and the female owner beamed with genuine happiness. After the program concluded, the dog owners sent a feedback video showing Mango's outstanding performance, with almost no barking at all. The male and female owners expressed their determination to the audience, stating that they would become responsible and caring pet owners. This is the animal connoisseur, bringing you more animal stories.